Hello, my name is John DeLuca. I'm 51 years old and currently a chief of police with 28 years experience in law enforcement. In May of 2020, I retired from my position as chief of police with the city of Beaver Falls Police Department. In 2016, many departments across the country were seeing a very high volume of overdoses from a mixture of heroin and fentanyl. In the city where I worked, we were experiencing an extremely high volume of younger adults overdosing in public places. For example, restaurant bathrooms, public sidewalks, and abandoned houses. And these addicted individuals were being arrested and released with no further assistance and were just repeating the same acts daily and in many cases leading to multiple overdoses within a 24-hour period. During 2016, when I was chief of police, I teamed up with the then district judge, William Livingston, and Kate Lowry of the Beaver County Behavioral Health in Beaver County to initiate a pilot program that was directed, directly related to subjects who overdose in public places. The program was named the Beaver Falls MDJ program. This program consisted of several different partners, including Beaver County Drug and Alcohol, Beaver County Homeless Services, Outpatient Rehab Services, and Vocational Rehab Services. This program brought social change by not only working with addicted individuals, but reducing the stigma that so many addicted individuals face while trying to have faith in the rehabilitation system. This program offered drug treatment instead of arrest and possible jail time for minor drug offenses. Once an addicted individual opted into the program, they were sent to inpatient rehab and refer referred to the team partners to start assessment for housing and possible job training for when they completed the rehab stint, which was usually 90 days. Once phase one was completed, the addicted individual then had to enter phase two, which consisted of working with other addicted individuals and helping with peer counseling sessions for another 90 days. After both phases were complete, the subject would have his or her charges dismissed and outpatient services were offered for as long as needed for everyone who was involved in the program. I believe this brought great social change in an atmosphere where most people see police as just arresting people and putting them in jail or citing them for their wrongdoing. How we used user-generated content to reach other addicted individuals was through police Facebook promotions and a professionally produced video that was created through grant funds to not only reach the individuals but also other substance use treatment providers. To view the video you can see it attached in my program. Thank you.